your final score from the Wells Fargo Center in South Philadelphia. Villanova 85, Xavier 75. Another strong effort on the floor, followed by another day in the gym. Such is the life of a college basketball team. But for the Wildcats, any day after a game is something different. It's flush day, a carefully timed and precise working off day. Yep, take two and go. Slate. Slate. Yep. Yep. Five minute time I stretch. Yeah. 20 minute shooting. 20 minute lift, 20 minute tubs. Four and 24. Four and four plays. And then you gotta film after that, right? Yep. Get low, get low and run. Flush Day serves as a way to get everybody physically and mentally rejuvenated for the guys to play a lot of minutes, uh, uh, an active rest for the guys that didn't get as many minutes, some of the younger guys. It's repetition of things that they might not have gotten in the game, but they're getting extra repetition to prepare for the next game. No, I think it's me more mental than anything. Um, you know, you get in there, you get a little bit of work, um, you know, you get some, maybe run through a couple plays, get some technique shooting. So you're getting some stuff on the court, you're getting better, uh, but you also don't feel like your body is being exerted that much. Good job, Mano. Shoot it. Catch and shoot. Good, chest him. Chest him. Can't catch that, Mane. Can't catch it, Mane. Good. Yeah, so like for the guys that played a lot of minutes and stuff, they're, uh, you know, it's more of like a recovery day, you know, massage, stuff like that, um, just taking care of their bodies. And for the guys that didn't play as much or played uh, limited minutes, you know, we'll work out, make sure we keep getting better. Exhaust yourself. Play hard the entire possession. Don't stop. Play hard the whole possession. Let's go. Come on. A mantra of our program has always been that we want to get better every single day. You know, if you're coming into a flush day and you're getting reps with the head coach coaching you, you're getting more individualized attention at that point um, to kind of break your game down and, you know, focus on the things that you need to get better at. You're over there, you step up, you step out of your stance. You gotta stay low and keep working. Work is hard, but it comes with a purpose. Can you show maximum effort while still recharging your battery? While that seems like two concepts fighting each other, it's not. Thanks to a plan that's been conceived and refined by strength coach John Shackleton, who's waiting to start the next step. I have 20 minutes on my clock. At 20 minutes, you got to get 300 reps. If you don't get 300 reps, it's done. You just got to go get cold tubs, right? So it's up to you to get 300 reps in 20 minutes. You got it? As soon as it hits 20, you're done. These are names. I want you, everybody starting here to see the rotations. It goes landmine, back extension, push-ups, over here to row. It goes hanging leg raises. So you don't got to, it's, it's all in a rotation, right? So stick with your guy and just, and just roll through. When you get so, back to middle, look, right here, I got three iPads. Just write in your reps every time you go around. Got it? All right, let's rock. Let's go. Really, it's what it's about. It's just waking up the next day, getting into the gym, and just getting your blood flowing and helping the the body flush things out through blood flow. So blood flow is what is like heals the body, right? So your vessels open up, heart pumps the blood, the oxygenated blood to the, all the you know all the muscles, and just helps clear things out of there. Good quality reps. Take your time. Nothing's for speed. Lift up. Hey, there you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. So you just work there for right now. Yeah. Keep pulling in that stomach. Good, man. Yup. All this has got to be in. Oh, yep. There you go. Everything's in line, man. Let's go, Sadiq. Good reps, Sadiq. How many did you get there? Four. Right. Just hearing the guys come back say, yo, my legs are feeling really good. You know, um, like the next day after, like, you just feel better. Well, if they didn't do it, they, they know how they would feel. Like, cause they've been there. They, they've not done a flush day. And, and know what it feels like. You feel a little stale, you feel a little stiff, you know? So it's just, it's just, it's, it's moving the body. It heals the body. Good, that's it. Keep those glutes engaged, man. We're not doing any lower body specific work, but you're getting some from doing these, right? I really believe our flush days are a significant part of our success over the last 
five, six years, because that's about when we started doing it, about five years ago. And uh, John Shackleton has just done an amazing job refining it each year. We come out of that day refreshed, energized, preparing for the next opponent. And that was never more apparent than the 2018 National Championship run. When a Villanova team, playing as many games in a single season as any in school history, used a scientific plan to maximize their potential. It's like 45 minutes on the court, or like maybe a 15 minute stretch or lift. It gets your heart rate up to about 75%. It actually works like during the tournament. We felt like a lot better like during the flesh days after the, uh, the tournament games and stuff like that. At the end of the Michigan game, we felt like we could have played two more weeks. We, we felt fresh at that point in the season, which is rare in any sport. And I really attribute that uh, to John and to our flush days.